If you create videos for any purpose, then the software that I'm going to be revealing today is going to be an absolute lifesaver. Now, creating videos isn't difficult when you know how, but coming up with ideas and writing scripts for your videos can be super time consuming and really, really frustrating if, like me, you often suffer from writer's block. And if you start making mistakes, it can lead to bouts of serious anger. So what can you do? Well, you can use tools like the one I'm going to share with you today to help you do the heavy lifting and create amazing video scripts without having to write really a word. But before we get into that, if you are interested in building your online business without the hype or the BS, then this channel is for you. I upload a couple of videos every single week, so if you would consider subscribing, that would be brilliant. So let's get cracking with today's video. This is the writing assistant I'm gonna be talking about today to get us to write YouTube video scripts. It's called Writer, R-Y-T-R. And once you've created an account, you can click on this orange button and then I'll show you how that works. But before we do, you're probably gonna ask how much does it cost? So there are three options. We've got the free plan, which sounds great, but it's super limited and you'll find that even doing the first script, you'll probably run out of characters. So I advise you to start with the saver plan and then play around with it. And if you like it, upgrade to the unlimited plan. Now the saver plan is nine bucks a month, super cheap. If you pay per year, you get two months free. But eventually you're probably gonna to wanna to get the unlimited plan, $29 a month or 290 bucks if you pay for annual access. It's super worth it. You can see bunches of languages, different kinds of use cases. I'll show you them inside. The main difference is basically the amount of characters. Granted, you get this extra support, but for the most part, it's all about this, unlimited characters. And if you're using Writer for creating multiple video scripts or, of course, other things, you're gonna want the unlimited plan. So let's go ahead and look inside and I'll show you how to use it for creating video scripts. Here we are inside of the Writer Writing Assistant dashboard. And strangely, the first thing that catches my eye is they've got write and it's a different spelling from the actual name of the brand. It's a small little thing but it really stood out to me as a bit unusual. But anyway, the purpose of these AI tools is to do all of the heavy lifting for you. But as is the case with any tool, it's only as good as the person that uses them. So you have to provide this tool with as much information as possible so that you can get the best output possible. So let me walk you through the options. So the language is fairly self-explanatory. I'll just show you the other languages. And here you can see there's a ton of other different languages available. Now, I can't verify how accurate the writing is in these languages because with the exception of Japanese, I don't really speak these languages. So I wouldn't know if it produced accurate or gobbledygook, but you would obviously know that if you speak the language. As for the tone, I don't play around with this too much. You can kind of go through and this is the kind of tone of the writing that it will produce. I'm just going to leave it as informative. Now with the use case, you can create a whole bunch of different things inside of Writer. You can get it to create calls to action. You can get it to create Facebook ads, Google search ads, job descriptions, product descriptions, meta descriptions, story plots. It does have a few things for videos, but it's more the video description as opposed to the script. So we're going to leave it at blog idea and outline, and then we'll just have to change a few words so that it makes sense in relation to a video. This is the most important thing, the primary keyword. So I'm going to ask Writer to create an article about the top three places to visit in Japan. Now, of course, just because Writer presents something to me doesn't mean that I'm going to agree with it. I've lived in Japan for 21 years. I'll probably have a different opinion on what the top three places are, but that's not really what this is all about. This is this tool doing the heavy lifting for me. Number of variants, I can choose one, two, or three. If you choose three variants, then you're gonna use up more of your characters, unless you're on the unlimited plan, it doesn't make a difference. But it's gonna give you several options from you to choose from. I'm just gonna click outside of that. This is a new thing here, creativity level. So it really depends on the kind of script, or in this case, script that you want writer to produce. If you're talking about something that's technical or it requires a great de degree of accuracy, you're going to want to, you know, have optimal or none. But if you having just something creative, a little bit more story based, you can go a little bit up here. I'm just going to leave it at uh, low 
and then I'm going to click write for me and as you can see it's now writing and we just have to wait several seconds before it produces something. So as we say something's going to come up here. So let's have a look. So this of course is for a blog post, it's not for a video, so we've got to change this. The top three places to visit in Japan for every type of visitor. So this could make the basis of a good video title, it's a little bit long for a YouTube title. I might just say uh, top three places to visit in Japan, that could be my video title, nice and simple. We have an introduction, we then have Tokyo, Kyoto and Nara, which are the stereotypical places that everybody recommends, but in this case it's okay. So just with an article in this case, a video does need an introduction. So I'm just going to get rid of all this stuff here. And the way that Writer works is you highlight words or sentences or parts of sentences and then it'll give you options. That is, I'll come down here and get it to write some more information about Kyoto. So we can highlight all of this or we can highlight several words and then we have different options. If we don't like this, we can ask Writer to rephrase it, improve it, uh, but we're going to focus on this one here, paragraph. So let me hit paragraph and let's just see what this software does. So we'll wait for a couple of seconds and then it should write a paragraph which talks in this case about Kyoto. So as we can see, it didn't have to write anything here. Kyoto, the city of 1.5 million people, is the capital of Kyoto Prefecture and has been Japan's capital for over a thousand years. Well, actually, that's not factually true. It was Japan's capital, but it's not currently the capital. The capital is um, Tokyo. So again, you might have to go through and just change a couple of things. But again, this doesn't take much effort, does it? And we can kind of read through and if we like something, great. And if we want to add more, we can. Because as you can see here, it just ends abruptly. Tokugawa Iyesu, the founder and first shogun of the. So let's click on paragraph and see if it can add more to this. Uh, let me, it didn't do that, did it? So let me try something else to see if this works. Let's delete that and let's, Tokugawa Ies was the, and let's see if that will work. First shogun in Japan try that. Sometimes you've got to give it more information. It doesn't always work well if you only highlight two or three words. So let's now see if it writes more about this. Okay, Tokugawa Ies was the first shogun in Japan. He was a military genius who led his troops in many battles and won every campaign. Tokuga Tokugawa, Tokugawa, I've got to make sure that the spelling's right, Cre is credited with unifying Japan and establishing it as a nation state. So now we've got a little bit of background on Kyoto. So we could do the same thing about Nara. So we'll highlight Nara, we'll hit paragraphs. Um, I've been to Nara. Nara's not as big as Kyoto and it's not as famous, but it's a really nice place for a day trip and it's got lots of nice deer as well. So again, we can read through this, double check its accuracy and make that it makes sense. And I'm gonna get rid of all this bit here, just delete all this stuff. I'm gonna get rid of this. So now we've got the third part, we've got the second part. So let's try a little bit about Tokyo. I'm kind of moving backwards. Okay, Tokyo, um, the capital of Japan is Tokyo. Let's see if that makes it better. Okay, that makes it better. So now we can actually get this paragraph to open up. Let's see if it writes something about Tokyo. Okay, cool. So Tokyo has been one of the most influential cities in history and it continues to be one today as well as an international hub for finance, fashion, technology and entertainment industries. Now I know a little bit about this uh, place so if you get the chance make sure to visit uh, Akihabara for example. Spell that correctly. Now let's see if we can get more here. Okay. Let's hit paragraph and see if it can give us more information and naturally give us more. See you go. Akihabara is an area in Tokyo that is named for its gaming culture. So we can kind of get this script basically written just by highlighting a few things and waiting. And it's super, super smooth. Now, let's just highlight this and see what it comes up with. It may repeat itself in this case because we've already kind of 
that's what we've actually already asked it to do. Okay, so let's see. Okay, the first place to visit in Japan is Tokyo. The second place is Kyoto. The third place, okay, so again, it said Hiroshima here, but it's put Nara down here. So it's not perfect, but what I can just do is I can just change this to Nara. This city has a lot of temples and shrines and is home to a huge amount of deer. So now we've got our video script. Now if I was to use this for YouTube, all I would do is basically either read this aloud myself using Audacity, I would run it through a text-to-speech software, probably well said lab, that's the only one out there that is really any good, but personally speaking I'd probably not do that myself, or if I didn't want to use my own voice I'd pay somebody to read this aloud for me. And all you'd really want to do to make this natural for YouTube is somewhere in here you would just do a little bit of a teaser so I might say something like um, let's see oh the third so Nara so for example I might say the third place that I'm going to recommend in today's video is home to a beautiful animal and if you get the chance to go there make sure that you feed them rice crackers but before we get on to that I'd like to welcome you to the channel my name's Adam I upload videos on Japan every single week so if you'd consider subscribing that would be great okay let's get to it so I've got that little intro going You'll then have the video with the script. You can copy and paste the script in the description if you want to, it's not necessary. And then I might say something at the end, like, so that covers the top three places, but of course there are tons of other lesser known places to visit in Japan. So if you'd like to learn more about those, I've got a really cool article on my website. I'll leave the link below this video. Other than that, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, hit that bell notification, and I'll see you in another Japan video soon. And there you go, you've got the ending of your video. And we didn't really have to do much. Writer was not perfect. It made a few little errors that needed tweaking. It mentioned Hiroshima when it actually was supposed to be Nara. But for the most part, it didn't take much effort from me to get this script created. Now, if I didn't have something like this and I was to write this from scratch, it'd probably take me half an hour to an hour. I'd probably get frustrated. If I had to pay somebody, they'd probably do a great job, but that's an expense. And if you're doing two or three videos every single week, it adds up. So having the ability to use something like this is fine. Now, there are other writing assistants on the marketplace that you may prefer or you may have access to, and by all means use those, but this is one that I really, really like, and I think for the price, it's definitely worth it. But I would definitely get the unlimited version if you can, because even though the other versions are fine, you'll find that you run out of characters, and that will be frustrating. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions or comments below. Other than that, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, and I'll see you in another video. Cheers. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions or you need more clarification, go and watch the video once more. Over on the right hand side, we have some more trainings and reviews, so go and watch those as well. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already, and hit the bell notification. Other than that, ask any questions you've got below, and I'll see you soon.